Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, brothers and sisters. Today we will be discussing the case of an ill informed man. A man who has been saying all types of things online, on social media, on Twitter, and all sorts. Uh, we're going to get straight into it. This is a video about Douglas Murray. You may know who Douglas Murray is. If you do, then you do. If you don't, then you're going to find out. You're going to see the type of things that this man comes out with, the type of gems that this man comes out with. Uh, but before we get into all of that, I'd like to remind all of you, inshallah, if you're new around here, do click the subscribe button. We are on our way to 100,000 subscribers, inshallah ta'ala. Keep supporting the work, keep supporting everything that we're doing, uh, especially now in this current climate. Uh, with the whole Palestine issue going on, you know, we pray may Allah make things easy for our brothers and sisters in Palestine. Um, keep supporting, keep raising awareness, keep doing what you can for the cause, inshallah ta'ala. Okay, let's watch this video. This is a video that I was sent. Okay, I was actually sent this video. And I was like, this is such a ridiculous video. Okay, but we're going to react to it. Okay, and see what he's saying. Let's, let's get straight into it. Okay, let's put the volume up. Okay. Muslims do not love other Muslims. They have no love for them. They have no love for the Palestinian peoples. None. If they had any, the Jordanians would have taken in the West Bank Palestinians. The Egyptians would have taken in the, 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 the territory they used to run, the Gaza, and own the Gaza. And they would have taken in the Palestinians from the Gaza. Why have the Egyptians made sure that not one uh, Palestinian is allowed to leave Gaza. Why, why do they make sure that their border wall is tough as anything? What do they mind? One thing, Jews living. Jews living and Jews winning. It hits them deep in their soul, in their psyche. It's an ancient, ancient hatred. <laughs> What's the this guy talking about? And uh, the deepest and the ugliest. Oh my gosh. And the one that has been least addressed. And we've imported it. So let's get straight into this video now. His point in this video is essentially that why? Why is it not the case that the Jordanians have taken on the Ghazans? Why have the Ghazans not been taken in by the Egyptians? They're suffering, right? They're going through so much. You Muslims, by the way, you Muslims, none of you care about your brothers and sisters. None of you care. Okay, so uh, all of the protests you're doing, all of the things that you're trying to do, uh, you don't actually care. Uh, if you did care, then the Egyptians would have taken in the Ghazans and the Jordanians would have taken in the Ghazans. First of all, I'd like to mention that this is an absolutely stupid argument. It's a, it's, it's a, I'm sorry, that's the way to say it. It's a ridiculous argument. This man is sitting there, he's wearing a suit. He looks, uh, he, maybe he's trying to make himself look sophisticated and uh, come out with sophisticated, clever things. He's coming out with ridiculous things and that's the reality of the matter. The reality of the matter is... Have you ever wondered, Douglas, have you ever thought, has the thought ever crossed your mind that the reason why Ghazans don't just walk into uh, Egypt and they don't go to Jordan is because they don't want to be there. They simply don't want to leave. Have you ever wondered, have you ever considered the fact that they have been living in Palestine for hundreds of years? It is where they are from. It's an area that they come from and they don't want to leave that area. If we go with your example and we place your example upon the UK, if someone came, if, 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 if others came and they started, you know, taking over, occupying, let's say Brighton, people came and occupied Brighton and you have certain British people in Brighton saying, hang on a second, we're not leaving here. No, 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 we don't want to go Manchester. We don't want to go London. We're from Brighton. We want, we have a right to be here. We want to be here. Have you ever considered that that is the Palestinian position? That they don't want to leave? They want to stay in their land? And we've covered on critical content, you know, on our other YouTube news channel. And you guys should check that out if you haven't already. We've covered this whole idea, this notion that's been going around about trying to push Ghazans into the Sinai Desert. Do you realize, Douglas, that if we were to go with what you're saying... And remove all of the Palestinians essentially. Remove all. Let's remove all of the Gazans from Gaza and put them in Egypt. That we've essentially ethnically cleansed the Gaza. Do you realize that if we do that, we have actually moved an entire ethnicity from their location, from the from the place that they are actually that they are from, that they are staying in, the place that they have been in 
for hundreds of years, for centuries. The reason why such narratives are so dangerous is because they reduce the situation of the Palestinians. It basically is putting across the notion, the idea that these Palestinians should just go. You should just go. Why, do, why don't you just, why, do, why doesn't Sisi just accept you into Egypt? Why don't you just go into Jordan? What, what, what's the issue here? Why don't you just go? Why, why aren't you being accepted by your Muslim brothers and sisters? Well, have you considered they, they don't want to be accepted? They don't want to be in Egypt. They don't want to be in Jordan. They want to stay in Gaza where they're from. Since 1948, since the Nakba, which, which in Arabic translates to the disaster, Palestinians have been thrown around. They have been literally displaced. The Nakba saw around 800,000 or so Palestinians displaced over 500 villages, you know, ethnically cleansed of Palestinians. That is not what the Palestinians want to see for themselves in Gaza, in the situation of Gaza. But however, now recent bombings and the carpet bombings are being done, conducted by the IDF, are forcing Palestinians from the north to go towards the south. And you know what else is in the direction of the south? The Sinai Desert. And this is where the theory comes in that the Israelis are essentially attempting to push the Palestinians into the Sinai Desert, essentially, you know, making Gaza unlivable for them. So they have to leave. So forcing them to essentially leave the area. Is that what you'd like to see, Douglas? This is why, brothers and sisters, it's very, very important for all of us to educate ourselves on these topics, read the history, and also familiarize ourselves with these narratives that are coming out from people like Douglas Murray. I mean, it's so easy to respond to them once you know exactly what the situation is and you know what though we're gonna leave it at that jazakumullah khairan for watching if you're new around here do subscribe keep watching the videos inshallah and educate yourself it's very very important when discussing issues like palestine it's very very important it's of utmost importance that we educate ourselves we continue to read we continue to study we continue to read books on the topic so that we can respond to such ridiculous ideas being uh, being proposed by such individuals. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.